In this problem, we have three scenarios where there's a mass hung by a spring. The spring will stretch and it'll read some amount on these rollers. We need to find the reading of the spring that has no mass attached. Well, it'll look like this. This will be the spring, and this will be the ruler, and we need to find where on the ruler this spring will be if it has no mass attached. Well, I'll start by looking at the scenario one. I'll say that down will be positive, that up will be negative. The force of the spring is equal to kx. Since we said that up was positive and the force of the spring is going to point up, this will be negative kx. Well, now we've got to figure out what x is. Well, we're looking for d, the distance the spring is at when there's no mass. And x is the amount that the spring is stretched. So it'll be whatever it's reading, which will be 40 in scenario 1, minus the initial position of the spring will give you the amount that is compressed. If you don't believe me, let's say that the initial position of the spring is at 10 millimeters. If it's now at 40, we'll get 40 minus 10, and it'll stretch 30 millimeters, which checks out. So this works. Now, the force of this mass is 110 newtons. So I'll just call this F, which will be 110 newtons. We're assuming that this spring is going to be at equilibrium, so the acceleration is going to be zero. We'll get 110 minus K, and we said that X is equal to 40 minus D, so it'll be K times 40 minus D will be equal to zero. So K times 40 minus D will be equal to 110. All right. Now let's deal with spring two. I'll keep my condition for down positive and up negative, and it'll be the force of the spring will be equal to negative k. This time x will be 60 minus d, and the force, I'll just call it f2, will be 240 newtons. I'll do the same thing I had over there. I'll get k times 60 minus d is equal to 240. I'll solve for k, and I'll get k is equal to 110 over 40 minus d for scenario 1. And k is equal to 240 over 60 minus d for scenario 2. These springs are the same, so they're going to have the same force constant. So I'll write this down here. I'll get 110 over 40 minus d is equal to 240 over 60 minus d. I'll cross multiply, and I'll get 110 times 60 minus d is equal to 240 times 40 minus d. When you distribute these to both terms on both sides, and then solve for d, you'll get d is equal to 23 millimeters. And that is our first answer, the reading of the spring that has no mass, mass attached. And now we also need to find the weight of mass Q. Well, this is mass Q. Now, weight is a measurement of force. So we're actually looking for this force here. Uh, as with all of these other scenarios, there's going to be the force of the spring that points upwards. That'll be F spring will be equal to negative K. This time it's reading 30, so it'll be 30 minus d. Now we have to find k. Well, we know that k is equal to 110 over 40 minus d, where d is 23. So we know k is going to be equal to 110 over 40 minus 23. k will be equal to 110 divided by 17 which is equal to 6.47. So now we know K. We'll say force is equal to, it'll be 6.47, and it'll be 30 minus 23, which is 7. And we'll get that the force of Q will be equal to around 45 newtons. And that is our final answer. Thank you for watching.